Patrick's a customer of mine, lives in Sweden, recently purchased an iPhos and he's using his to analyse the picture quality coming from his very nice high-end monitor. He wasn't happy with the colour balance of the screen and so he used the iPhos to examine the composition of the white setting coming from the screen. Well the iPhos told him the problem immediately, um, a lot of the red energy was missing. Once he knew that the fix was easy and the improvement was dramatic and immediate. So job done. But Patrick also showed me this. It's a white light spectrum from a KP, sorry, a KRP500 monitor just like his. And it was taken by this instrument, which is a CR300 reference radio spectrometer, costing $7,000. Using his iPhos, he took his own spectrum of the white um, display of the screen, and this is the spectrum that he got. So we've got an interesting opportunity to compare the two instruments, $7,000 worth versus $100. Well, all the peaks are present and the wavelengths are broadly correct. There's a slight misalignment at the uh, blue end of the spectrum. I don't know if this is miscalibration, slight miscalibration uh, on Patrick's part because I don't normally see this kind of deviation. Um, it's normally ac very, very accurate right across the spectrum. But even so, it's pretty good. It's within a few nanometers. The weakness in the IFOS is in the relative intensities of the wavelengths and we do see some disagreements between the high peaks and some of the smaller peaks. And this is inevitably due to the fact that the webcam sensor that's we're, that we're using here that gives us the big cost advantage is not very linear, it's not designed to do this and so it doesn't do it as well as the high-end instruments. Nevertheless, the IFOS did all the work necessary to diagnose the problem that Patrick needed solving um, and if we look at the comparative analysis of the, of the charts we see there is very good agreement and all of this must be understood against the backdrop that the IFOS costs about 1% of the reference instrument so very substantial savings for substantially the same performance. Anyway this was the first in what I hope will be a small series of customer oriented videos showing what people are doing with their IFOSs and how well it's doing it for them. I uh, hope you enjoyed it if you're interested in seeing more of course sign up and I'll let you know when they're made.